Okay, the problem with this photograph is, well, the mum's looking okay in the, in the light. It's quite a strong light. But the baby's in shadow and also looking a little bit green. The grass is reflecting off him. All right, so let's come to our background layer and duplicate. Right click with the mouse. If you don't have a two button mouse, get one, please. Okay, so we've got a copy of that layer. Next, we're going to come to curves. Because curves are wonderful. If you've seen my previous tutorial on curves, then great. If not, check it out. So we're going to make things brighter overall. That's a nice bright color. And also, but the green needs taking down a little bit in the shadows. So set a control point about halfway, just under halfway. And let's drop that green down just a little bit. So we're getting a more natural color. All right. We'll go with about there. Okay, the baby is looking better, but the mum is looking way too blown out. What we need is a way to try and get rid of the mum bits, but keep the baby bits. All right, well, first reaction might be, well, let's go to the eraser tool. So where's the eraser? Here we are. Sorry, got the magic eraser tool there. Let's go to the eraser tool here. And nice big eraser size. Let's make that bigger. Okay, next to the P on your keyboard, you've got the two bracket keys. I'm pressing the right one to make it bigger, and it's on 100%. So, there we go. Let's get rid of the mum. Actually, that little bit around here, around the chest area, that was looking better beforehand. So, well, I can't unerase. Well, the, I can press Control Z to get rid of it, but now I've got rid of all my stuff as well. The eraser is not a particularly good tool for this. You can use it for some things, just a few things, but there is a better way of doing this, and that is by using layer masks. All right, we're going to come up to our layers palette. Right click and click on duplicate. OK, let's call this mask. OK, so we want the baby to look a lot brighter. So come down to effects browser. Color adjustments, curves, drop it in. Right, we need to get the whole area looking a lot brighter. Also, he's looking quite green as well, so I want to take some of the green out of the lower areas. And click on OK. All right, so now the baby's looking a lot better, but the mum is looking way too, way too bright, basically, especially around the face where you've got, well, there's a lot of problems there with the contrast between the dark and the light area. But no problem. Come back to the layers palette, right click and add mask. And there it is. You can see just in the layers, you've got the picture right here and you've got a little white area there. Now, Whatever is white is going to show through. But if I start painting a dark color on there, if I start putting black there, that part will start to become invisible and the background layer will show through. I'll show you what I mean. Come over. We're already in brushes. I want black color. Now let's come to the mum's face and start putting down some black and immediately look at that and see she's getting darker. Down here. Okay, now I've got a similar problem here that I had with the eraser. This bit here, chest area needs to be lighter. Not a problem. Come back, choose a white color for your brush, and you can paint it back to white again. You can come right down here, really cut into the bits, come back to black. And then you can paint out the area you've just put down. So you've got much, much more flexibility than you ever had with the eraser. Come here, you can experiment. Come down here. Do I want the arm that color? Let's cut right into the baby's head here. Do I want the arms to be showing through from the original layer? Well, let's give it a try. And you can see I'm being quite... Well, sloppy for want of a better phrase, but if I come back and select white again, 
I can paint out that dark area again. There. Actually, we can do more with this. Now, this is going to get a little bit more advanced, but because you're all wonderful, warm, intelligent, smart, creative human beings, let's do it. So, come back to layers. Click my original layer. Right click and duplicate again. And for this one, I'm going to come to curves. Now, what I want to do here, I want to really crank this all the way up, make it really, really bright. And what I'm looking at, is the shadow area around the hair and also the dark side of the face. We'll show you one or two things with that as well. And let's make it warmer as well. What I want is to try and get just a little bit of detail out of that dark area. That doesn't, that's not really working too well. Let's try green. To a certain extent, but mainly it's the red and the overall. That's bright. Okay, we'll do that. Let's make it invisible for a second. You can see it's the mother area that's getting way too bright. So now we're going to go right click again and add a mask. This time we're going to come to edit, fill, and we're going to fill it with black. So now the whole area, this whole layer now is invisible. But if I come back to my white paintbrush, I can start to paint in the areas that I do want visible. It's what we were doing before, but now it's, it's, it's like it's in reverse. It's a negative version, but it's working. Okay, that's looking a bit too bright on the forearm, so we come back to black. Uh, come down again, we can take that out. We have this ultimate control ability now, seeing what's underneath. What about if we paint it in white and take a look at this shadow area? Remember all this bit that was in shadow? Look. We are painting out the shadow areas and leaving a much brighter area here. We're just focusing on the shadow areas. So now we're really dealing with those shadows. It's looking a little bit too bright though, because I was concentrating on my hair and not the actual face here. But what if we come back to our colors and select a mid gray, mid to dark gray there. And now let's make our brush size a little bit smaller. Now, if we paint over in gray, we're getting, I suppose if this was 50% gray, we're getting 50% of this layer showing through. So we've got much more controllability. The teeth aren't so blown out there. We're still getting some lighter areas, but we've got much more control over the whole thing. So now, yep, she's looking fine. I'm just going to quickly come to curves again. Well, can I make that a little bit warmer? Can I up the red just a little bit? Maybe just a bit, just to get it to match there. So now by using gray, we've got part of this layer showing through. Using the combination of black plus white plus the mid grays there. Well, let's face it. We started off talking about the eraser. The eraser couldn't do any of this. That was our original image. That was it made lighter. And that's the further control over mum's face and hair. Wonderful things, layer masks. Take the time, learn about layers. You've got two different ways of doing it here, plus also using gray as well. You get a huge amount of flexibility in how you get to control your photographs. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, maybe you consider clicking on one of the links below and check out my game called Disco Baby, which is on the iTunes store or Android stores like Google Play. It has three different games in it, a memory game, a maths game for children, and a dance along with me game for toddlers to join in with. Thanks for your time.